Hello and welcome to a new episode of The Knock. If you're a little new to this show, I'm, well, this would be actually probably the first show, so I guess you're all new to it, aren't you? I'm your host, Robert Hall, uh, and we're here to answer your computing questions, your electronics questions. Um, and I want to start out with this first episode by actually going over something a lot of people probably posted on the our uh, little intro um, details uh, video that we did at first and that's going to be questions about Vista uh, there's tons of questions about that people are always saying hey what's this big deal about Vista it's being incompatible there's issues with Vista what are these issues and I want to cover those right now with you <clears throat> um, if you got any other questions you want to add on to this feel free to post those as a video response but uh, let's let's go ahead and start on this here. Uh, as of course, as you know, we do. Uh, or hopefully, you know, uh, we do computer repair, computer sales, and we have tons and tons of experience with actually what's in the real world, what people are having on their systems. Um, so, as far as Vista problems go, I haven't really seen really anything I can blame on Microsoft. Uh, a lot of the issues I see, there's stuff that are the fault of the OEMs, fault of the people who make the hardware. Uh, it's partially OEMs too, there I guess you'd say. Um, bad tech support. And then uh, after that, there's, there's a couple of things I'll show you. I'm going to do a little um, cam studio here. In just a minute, we can describe some of these problems that we're having. But uh, let's take care of the, probably the big one right off the bat. <clears throat> Technicians. People do not understand how Vista works. Uh, I see this time and time again. Technicians go out there, they work on people's systems. They have no idea what they're doing. They end up breaking more stuff than they fix, and they still charge the people. Not cool. Very not cool. So, what happens is a great example of this uh, one lady. <clears throat> Uh, we got the call to go down to Richmond, take care of her system. She had a technician there before that was supposed to set up a wireless network uh, with three Vista systems and two XP systems. And one of the XP systems would have a shared printer on it. Um, long story short, he, he failed miserably. Um, he couldn't, it took him five hours to do this. Um, at the end of it all, the network was not working. They, they weren't on the wireless, uh, and they were not able to use the uh, shared printer. Only the XP systems could talk to that printer. Uh, so what, what happened there? <clears throat> was probably what you wonder. What, what did this guy do wrong? Uh, obviously, it's something wrong with Vista, right? No, no. Um, the Vista, when you try to network. Vista with a XP machine or any really older version of Windows. Um, <clears throat> not so bad with the 98, I would say, maybe. But who uses 98 now? You end up with uh, basically a security issue. Uh, a lot of the people in XP, home users, they don't put password on their system. So that, you have the null password issue. Um, some people might be familiar with FDB servers that you can't connect to a system with a no password. It just won't let you do that. Um, XP would just happily walk right on in. Um, Vista doesn't do that. It, Vista goes, okay, I need to connect to the system, and it's not going to try connecting with the no password. It does not do that. It goes, hey, you need a password on this. Fix it right, set it up right, do it the correct way. So when you're trying to do the shared printer, you have to actually create a username and password on that XP box and connect using that those credentials on the Vista machine. Then it works perfectly fine. Uh, is that a problem with Vista? No, it's just enhanced security. They don't want you running around, you know, with uh, poor security. I'm pretty sure there's a way around that. Honestly, it's easier and wiser to actually put a password on it. I uh, haven't tried personally to find a way around that whole password issue, but it's just easier to put a password on it, in my opinion. 
takes your whopping, you know, five, ten seconds set up on the one computer, you go over to the other one, you type it in, you're done. Um, <clears throat> no need to do some weird registry hacks and like that. So that's that's not a Microsoft issue. I can't I can't say that's a problem with Vista. It's that's a good thing they did. Um, next thing would be the OEM vendors, uh, the driver makers. You go out there, you look at the products, anything that's older than two years, you really don't see Vista drivers for it. You hear people saying all the time, this doesn't work with Vista, this, you know, mouse, whatever, doesn't work with Vista. Well, not a mouse, that's kind of generic print, uh, product, but uh, sound card, video card, doesn't work with Vista, this motherboard doesn't work with Vista. It, the drivers aren't made for it. Of course it's not going to work for it. There's no reason to complain. There's no drivers, don't complain. It's, somebody has to make them. Uh, it's not Microsoft's fault. Microsoft can't go out there and babysit every device maker in the world and say, okay, let us create a driver for you. Here you go, buddy. Uh, enjoy our free tech support. Well, you're making a product. No, 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 no. Microsoft can't afford to do that. It, well, just it can't afford, but they wouldn't be very rich, I'll say that, if they did that. They'd, they'd probably be charging us twice as much for Windows at that point. Um, but it's not Microsoft's job to make drivers for everyone. So if you're going out there saying there's no drivers for it, complain to the vendor of the actual product and say, hey, you need to make drivers for this. I'm using this. I really don't see drivers for anything older than two years for Vista. I really don't. Um, another big issue that happened there was when all these systems were being pre-built, just a little bit before Vista came out, they were all Vista compatible, Vista capable, however it was worked, Vista capable. It, they were capable of running Vista, the hardware specs, all that. They were specced out to be able to run Vista. But when Vista 5 came out, the OEM providers didn't make the drivers for those systems. It took them, you know, an extra month or two to actually provide drivers for those systems. That's not what I would consider Vista capable. It should have been as soon as Vista launched, boom, it should have worked. Uh, in my opinion, I think all the OEMs, all these people that make devices, they just pretty much sat on their hands and said, oh, we'll just wait for Vista to come out. It'll be out sometime. Uh, th there was no excuse for that. They had the beta to play with. Um, sure, things change between betas and live versions, but it's more than enough time for them to actually have developed and made a usable product. So, let's get into the cam studio here, look at that, and I'm going to show you a couple other things here that I think people had issues with. Okay, and now we're over here on the desktop, as you can see. No surprise, we actually do run Vista here. Uh, not only do we sell it, we actually use it. No kidding, that's Vista. And don't believe me, we got it right there. Properties, boom, there's your Vista. <clears throat> As you can guess, this is a custom built system by us, so uh, if you're wondering if some things look a little different in some ways and whatnot, you'll see why. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, back on topic. Um, <clears throat> Uh, some of the other issues that we've been seeing, uh, I shouldn't say issues, but um, things I've heard people basically complain about is performance right out of the box. They get Vista and they say this thing is slow. It's the slowest thing ever. It's a brand new computer. Why is it taking so long for programs to open up? Why does it take so long to start up? What What is the deal here? And uh, the truth is, it's it is their system. It's it's not Vista. You can really blame for it. It it is their system. Um, and you're saying how how can I go off on that and say hey it, it just flat out is the system. Well, you go on out. You look at you know the actual stats of some of these systems, the e-machines, the uh, 